when you spend a lot of time working on the land, you get quite a deep connection with it. You know where the wind's coming from, where the rain's coming from. You just know it because you've been there for your whole life kind of thing, and, and that, that makes you feel um, pretty attached to a place. I think actually, I just I want I wanted more of that connection with the land that I'd felt when I was growing up. I missed that. Well, I guess I I feel a, a responsibility to wildlife, as well as wanting to produce food. I, that's where my interest is really. I, I think that those two things are are important and have to be balanced. There is a responsibility to the land. That's something that's pretty intrinsic to farming, really. It's in a farmer's interest to keep their land in, in good heart. If I want to make a difference, and if I want to promote a style of farming that is, is good for wildlife and doesn't adversely impact the climate, then the best way is to do it myself. come across this concept of conservation grazing where the focus wasn't so much on producing a big beefy animal as looking at what, what the animal, how the animal was interacting with the natural environment. I've become quite interested in the food chain really, uh, the supply chain of food and how long and complicated and completely mad it is. I'm not just interested in delivering nature conservation. I'm interested in food as well, and I'm interested in people being connected to where the food comes from. It's difficult if it's in plastic packaging in the supermarket. The, the particular little patch of land that I'm involved with with my sheep has great potential to be rich in wildflowers and, and everything that goes up from there. Wildflowers are a source of nectar for insects and insects are food for birds and it all really starts from the, from the soil and the plants and I feel a responsibility to that because that's been really adversely impacted in the last century or so of more intensive agriculture. But by the, the drive to produce more from, from the same acreage, I guess. I don't think the bigger is better. Um, idea works very well. I know that small farmers have the capacity to feed everyone because actually most of the world's food is produced by small farmers. Not in this country. That's, it's a very different situation here to elsewhere, but globally, globally food is produced by very small producers. But what I'd like to try and do is, is try to carry on the tradition of farming at a small scale and produce good food that doesn't have to go a million miles before it reaches someone who's going to eat it. Maybe we need to think, rethink our connection with the land. Because it's seen as a resource, it's seen as something that can be almost mined for, for its nutrients. And the problem with mining is you don't put back what you take out, whereas farming really should be quite closed loop. You're putting something back in, you're, you're doing something that is, is renewable, you can carry on people have got a lot of valid concerns about the way that farming is, um, is carried out and I can see that and I share those concerns and would like to provide part of the answer to it. There's something very real about farming and there's very real results from, from, from growing vegetables, from, from raising livestock. I quite like to provide an environment for my own children to grow up in that's bears some resemblance to the environment that I grew up in and provides the same kind of opportunities to connect with, with nature and, and themselves, really. I think it might be the best job in the world and possibly the most important too.